Hi guys, I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be Friday Night Smackdown News number 60. Now, to just let you guys know, I kind of missed half of the show. A lot of people probably already know this already. A lot of people who watch my YouTube channel. But if you didn't know, I graduated from high school today. So I was at the ceremony for my high school graduation. And that's why I missed half of Friday Night Smackdown. Now, I watched the second half. At least I didn't miss the most important part, which is the main event. So that's why I missed half the show. Today was my high school graduation. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about Friday Night Smackdown. So, like I said again, this is Friday Night Smackdown news number 60. There's not a lot of news because this is just setting up for the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. Which will be happening on Sunday. Which I'll have my predictions and reactions as usual for that. But anyway, let's get into it. So the first thing is the New Day segment. It's Drew McIntyre comes out and they're interrupted by Sheamus, Ridge Holland, and Butch. Second thing is a six-man tag team match. Drew McIntyre and the New Day versus Sheamus, Ridge Holland, and Butch. The winners of the ta six-man tag team match, Sheamus, Ridge Holland, and Butch. Uh, the third thing is an interview with Riddle and Skinsky Nakamura. The fourth thing is a Max Dupree segment. Uh, the fifth thing is a singles match. Humberto Carrillo versus Ginger Mahal. Winner of the singles match, Ginger Mahal. I thought Shanky and Ginger Mahal might have broken up last week, but they didn't. And Shanky helped... Uh, Ginger Mahal win the match by his dancing. Uh, sixth thing, Shanky dancing again for Samantha Irvin. Like I said again, if you don't know who Samantha Irvin is, she's the announcer for Friday Night SmackDown. Um, and Samantha Irvin starts dancing with Shanky. So this storyline is going good with Shanky. Uh, the seventh thing is a six-pack challenge. Special guest commentator, SmackDown Women's Champion, Ronda Rousey. Uh, the winner faces Ronda Rousey for the SmackDown Women's Championship down the road. It's not going to be happening at Hell in a Cell. It will be down the road. Uh, the, the, par the people that participated in this match was Raul Gonzalez, Aaliyah, Shayna Baszler, Natalia, Shotzi, and Exion Quinn. Or Exia Quinn, or whatever her name is. Or no, Exia Lee. I don't know why I wrote down Exia Quinn. It's Exia Lee. Maybe I'm getting her mixed up with the other guy from NXT. But anyway, well, winner of the six pack challenge, Natalia. Uh, the eighth thing is a promo from Happy Corbin. Uh, ninth thing, Madcap Cor Madcap Moss returns to Friday Night SmackDown after Happy Corbin viciously attacked him a few weeks ago. Eleventh uh, thing, Madcap segment interrupted by Happy Corbin. Twelfth uh, thing, singles match. Madcap Moss versus Happy Corbin. Winner of the singles match, Happy Corbin by DQ. Uh, Thirteenth thing, Madcap gets his revenge on Happy Corbin. Leads to a holds no holds no bar match at LSL. As of right now, that's the only match I know that's from SmackDown that's going to be on that pay-per-view hell in a cell i'm not too sure why I, I guess i'll figure it out but anyway that was announced later in the night uh, another thing i want to talk about i want to talk about uh i actually want to talk about madcap so madcap moss changed his character i knew this change for like about a week now and here's the thing, I wanted a good change from Mad Cat Moss. You know, I wanted good reading attire. I wanted a good um, 
ring entrance, and I wanted them to change their name. Well, I mean, his character is very generic now, a generic entrance, a generic looking wrestler with a terrible name. I don't like his name. I wish they changed it. He His character is generic, but I like his tough guy attitude going after Baron Corbin. So his character change is okay. I like the other Mad Cat Moss character, but I know why they had to change it. They had to change it because of this feud. Anyway, let's get on with the news. Uh, 14th thing, interview with the Usos. Uh, ninth, uh, uh, 15th thing, promo with Ricochet, uh, 16th thing, promo with Gunther, and the 7th thing is, 17th thing is a tag team match for the Unified Tag Team Championships, the Usos, the Champions versus Riddle and Skinsky Nakamura, winner of the, winner's Winners and still unified tag team champions, the Usos. And that is Friday Night Smackdown News number 60. Um, Please graduate me in the comments of this video. Like I said, I graduated from high school. A lot of my friends know this. And if you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace, period.